Like which which of these one loss teams do you think might be worth a, worth a play on the uh, to, to win the national Tigers? You got Texas at six to one. You got Oregon at six to one. Not six to one. Six, six and one. Texas is six and one. Oregon six and one. Alabama is seven and one. Penn State six and one. Utah is six and one. Like I actually made a bet on Oregon last week, Jeff. Sorry, thirty five to one to win the national title. You just mushed them for this week. Thanks. I know. I know. I know. I know. I did, but. Uh, any anybody out there li- like? I mean, it has to be Zombie Alabama, right? If if Alabama continues to just get better each week on offense, Milro gets more comfortable in the pocket, starts making more routine throws. He's very good at, at the home run throw, we know that. But just getting more routine throws. They have LSU coming up, I believe it's in next week or the week next after. Week. Next week. Next week. Um, and if they beat LSU, they're going to play Georgia in the SEC championship game, most likely. Be Georgia, they're right. I mean, they're in the playoff, yep, right? Like, exactly. they're, like they're right there. I think we've kind of forgotten that Alabama again offensively. If they sort of get this more consistency out of their their quarterback, their offensive line, they're getting a little bit better each week. So to me, it'd be Alabama, who I think it uh, can win the championship here. Who's a one loss team? Oregon's the one. Sammy, uh, anything Oregon's on? I think three of the last four games at home, they have the most, you can't call it a good loss. Nothing's a good loss, but that's the most forgivable loss. Washington, where they should have won the game. They miss a kicker, kick at the buzzer. Uh, If they went out here, they're going to be in the playoffs. So Oregon's the one. I wish you'd text me, Bear. I would have gotten down some of that 30. Is it still 35 to one? To me, that's a good number. Guys, don't do Um, do this. I can, I'll look. I'll I'll, I'll look. I don't know if I have access to that sports book when I, when I go to Kansas this week. I I don't know if they're, uh, they're open in, in, in that uh in that region, but but I but I can I have some I have yeah I have Why some. Why are you guys doing this to, this to not, make you angry? This is not this is not to good. To before Oregon goes on the road as a seven point favorite. Well, you just said you you just said you're taking Utah this week anyway. So no, I didn't. I, I, I said taking the under in this game. No, you said I, said you're taking, I would you, not. You said bet. you're taking you. you take, it, I bet on the Chargers last weekend against the Chiefs, right? Plus five and a half. And it's stuck yeah. as a Chiefs fan to watch that game and like only hope the Chiefs win by one to five points. It's a terrible feeling. I'm not doing that with Oregon this weekend. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.